वेलकम टू द सेकेंड सेशन ऑन टिस्नेट जी के आई थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वॉचिंग आर वीडियोज एंड प्रोवाइडिंग वैल्यूबल फीडबैक एंड वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स ऑन द वीडियोज वी हैव नोटेड सम ऑफ योर कमेंट्स एंड श्योरली वी विल ट्राई टू इनकॉर्पोरेट योर फीडबैक इन टू आर जी के सेशंस बट बिफोर आई बिगिन आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू पॉइंट आउट और आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेल यू आर साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी वेन वी प्लान दीज सेशंस we did not plan them as comprehensive session number 1 we are only trying to cover what is most relevant what we found very important what we found was based on what has been asked in the previous few years of the tisnet exam so this in no way can replace a full years preparation but if you are in a hurry if you have only 15 odd days to prepare for gk then yes this could serve as a very good revision tool nevertheless we will increase the duration of these videos to around 20 minutes from 12 minutes i think that should help number 1 number 2 uh, the other step that we have taken from today's session is the pdf that you can find uh, in the description of this video also contains some other important gk as one liners so if you go through the one liners and if you go through the questions i'm sure it should serve as a good revision for what happened especially in each of these areas in the last 12 months so let us get started with today's agenda and before i start again please subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me if you're looking for more and more updates on tisnet gk first question for the day which platform has been launched to ideate discuss and exchange information relating to sustainable management of urban rivers the correct answer is river cities alliance now river cities alliance originally they had included only the cities of ganga river basin but now i think cities as far away as bhubaneswar and pune are also a part of this alliance and what is the objective to ideate discuss and exchange information relating to sustainable management of urban rivers and who has launched this alliance this alliance has been launched as a joint venture between uh, ministry of jal shakti and ministry of housing and urban affairs next question according to 2020 air quality report how many of the world's top most top 100 most polluted cities lie in india the correct answer is 46 in fact of the top 100 cities 94 are located in china india and pakistan but india has the biggest share that is 46 in fact 9 out of the top 10 most polluting cities are in india nothing to be proud of here i must say and delhi has been the most polluted capital in the world for third year in a row so we really have to do something about the pollutions in in city next question where has india's first glass conservatory been launched in november 2021 the correct answer is rani khet so india's first glass conservatory is spread over an area of 2 acres at rani khet and rani khet all of you should know is situated in almora district now what is the significance there are around 90 grass species that are of significant scientific ecological and medicinal importance that have been grown and this particular project aims to create awareness about these grass species uh to promote their conservation and also to supplement research or to uh, facilitate research in the field of grass it is also important because grasslands today are facing several kinds of threat especially because their areas are thinking and if grasslands area will shrink then it will also disturb uh, many species of birds and mammals 
whose ecosystems or who depend on grasslands. And therefore, the first grass conservatory in Raniket at Almora. Next question. Which of the following is India's recently launched web portal to create awareness of electric vehicles? The correct answer here is E. Amrit. Now, what does Amrit stand for? Amrit stands for Accelerated Mobility Revolution for India's Transportation. Accelerated Mobility Revolution for India's Transportation. Now, what is this? It is a portal and it the portal aims at creating awareness about electric mobility in India. The portal also provides lots of information related to electric motor business specifically manufacturers vendors and service providers it also provides you information about business models of different electric vehicle manufacturing companies and also information like what is the cost of acquiring and maintaining an electric vehicle so it's like a one-stop information portal on electric vehicles a very good initiative indeed by the government of india Next, which national park in India has recently been equipped with satellite phones? The correct answer here is the Kaziranga National Park in Assam. It is located in Assam. Now, what is a national park? National park is a place which is used for conservation of wild nature for posterity. The first national park in the world was the Yellowstone National Park in the US. Yellowstone National Park in the US. Kaziranga National Park is located in Assam and it is home to tigers, elephants and one of the world's largest population of Indian one-horned rhinoceroses. Next question. Indian coastal areas in Bay of Bengal were hit with which of the following cyclones in December 2021? The correct answer is Cyclone Javad. Now 2021, there were many, many cyclones. Some of the most severe ones being Gulab. Then you have Cyclone Tokte. You had Nisarga. You had Amphan and you have Funny. These were the cyclones that also afflicted several areas of India in the year 2021. But in December particularly it was Chavad. Now what is a cyclone? Cyclone is, uh, you know, it's a severe storm. And the word cyclone has been taken from the Greek word cyclos, which means coils of snake. Cyclones are classified as low pressure areas, depression, deep depression, cyclonic storm, severe cyclonic storms and very severe cyclonic storms, super cyclonic storms. So these were, I think, all those cyclones which were severe cyclonic storms or above. Next question. The headquarters, it should be headquarters, of the International Solar Alliance. Now this headquarter is, is, is situated in Gurugram, India. The current Director General, again recently been uh, appointed, is Ajay Mathur. So he is the current Director General of the International Solar Alliance. Now what is International Solar Alliance? It is a group of people which aims to bring together group of nations which support the cause of clean energy and sustainable environment. The founders of International Solar Alliance were Narendra Modi and Francois Hollande. It was in news recently because US also became a member of this alliance. Next question, which, where was the 2021 United Nations Climate Conference held? 
So this conference was held in a place called Glasgow in the United Kingdom. So the president of this conference was the UK cabinet minister Alok Sharma, who was the president. And this conference was also known as COP26. COP stands for Conference of Parties. It has been called the most significant conference of parties since COP21. Now, COP21 produced the Paris Agreement. So, COP26 is hailed. It is called one of the most important conference of parties after the COP21. So, what were the major reasons for it? Because countries agreed on securing a global net zero carbon emissions goal by the middle of the century, that is 2050. And also keeping the planet's end of century temperature increased down to 1.5 degrees centigrade. Now these are very important goals. In this conference, countries also decided to expose a phenomena called as greenwashing. Now, what is greenwashing? It's, it's, a, uh, it's a unique term which talks about the process of conveying false impression or providing misleading information about how companies or their products are more environmentally friendly or sound. And these claims are generally unsubstantiated. Matlab, iska koi adhar nahi hota hai. But still, countries try to pass off their products as green or environment friendly products called as greenwashing. So, in this particular conference, mein, greenwashing ke against me, uh, greenwashing ko expose karne ke liye bhi, countries ne kadam uthane ka faisla kiya. Next question To which of the following does the blue flag certification apply? So, out of these things, the blue flag certification applies to beaches now what is a blue flag certification it is an international tag that is given by f f double e what is f double e foundation for environment education based in denmark so this organization this foundation provides the blue flag certification it regularly monitors and audits beaches marinas and sustainable boating tourism operators so apart from beaches there are two more categories which can obtain the blue flag certification marinas and sustainable boating tourism operator so in india currently there are 10 beaches which have this blue flag certification and the latest beach to have got this blue flag certification is kovalam in tamil nadu and eden in puducherry Next question, which fish has recently been declared the, as the state's fish of Sikkim? The correct answer here is the copper mashir. Copper mashir is also known as or popularly known as ketli or ketle. I don't know how to pronounce that, but copper mashir and ketle. Uh, this particular fish is found in wide altitudes covering the entire state, predominantly confined in Tista River. Tista and Rangit River. Apart from India, this fish is also found in Bangladesh, Nepal, Thailand, Myanmar, Indonesia, Malaysia, Bhutan. This fish has been recognized or it has been categorized as endangered species in 2014. Next, what was the theme of World Ozone Day 2021? It was observed on 16th of, it is observed on 16th of September every year. The correct answer to this is keeping us, our food and our vaccines cool. That was the theme of World Ozone Day in 2021 so world ozone day since when have we observed the world ozone day since 1994 so montreal protocol 
it was signed by almost every country by 1987 and in this protocol countries came together to take concrete steps against the ozone layer depletion and the countries came out with a concrete suggestion to phase out the use of chlorofluorocarbons aerosols and halons which had disturbed and which had depleted the ozone layers these substances react with ozone and hence cause a depletion at this juncture i would also like to tell you some of the other important conventions and what was their purpose kyoto protocol the purpose of kyoto protocol was or the agenda of kyoto protocol related to reduction of greenhouse gas emissions then we had ramsar convention ramsar is a city in iran it talked about wetland conservation then cartagena protocol it is a protocol which supplements the convention on biological diversity paris agreement it covers climate change mitigation adaptation and finance rio summit or earth summit uh, for protection of planet and the issues addressed in rio summit included scrutiny of production of uh, and use of fossil fuels and identifying alternative sources of energy growing usage and limited supply of water next question where will india's first dugong century be set up the correct answer is tamil nadu dugongs are basically sea cows and they are classified as endangered marine animals and are facing extinction due to pollution habitat loss and loss of sea grass and where are these dugongs found they are found in two areas in india one is gulf of mannar and the other is park bay these are the two areas where these cows are found next the largest single transfer of white rhinos was undertaken from which country to rwanda the correct answer is from south africa to rwanda with this we have come to an end of today's session once again i remind you if you like the session or if you want to uh, watch these sessions please do subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me thank you